Hello everybody, this is Ben with another Minecraft video. Today I wanted to show off my scoreboard design. The idea behind this is if you have a PvP arena or something and you want to keep track of player deaths or point score, you can use this design to do so. It consists of uh, 10 lamps in a row a series of pressure switches, pressure plates, though you could also use tripwire if you want, a reset lever, and some redstone in the back there. So if I go and uh, kill myself here, and I respawn here, and I run over here, you'll see that the score decrements by one. Every time you step on these pressure plates, it goes down by one. And then when it reaches zero, it triggers whatever you want. Uh, I was going to put lava here, but I decided that I didn't want to burn down all my wool back here. So I use water instead. Now if we want to reset, we just hit that button that lever, and it will refill our core board. As you can probably guess from the sound, uh, we're using droppers in this design. So I wanted to make a fairly straightforward um, scoring system. So, uh, my idea was to use a chest full of something with a comparator that would light up a line of redstone. That way I could use the strength of the signal to determine the score. And if I wanted to subtract or add to that score, I would simply have to add or subtract items from the chest here. So I toyed around with several uh, combinations and I found that putting a single stack item like a water bottle in a chest gives you a fairly linear uh, relationship. So every two bottles here equals one increment in strength after the first one. One bottle gives you one, the second bottle gives you two. But after that, it's every two gives you one. So, so let's build the other team scoreboard. We're going to want ten redstone lamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lamps. And you probably want some kind of casing around it. Next, you want to go behind here and put a block. Actually, let's just use the same zone. You want to put a block behind each of these lamps. And you want to put another block, like so, and a repeater. On each of those blocks. And then we're going to connect it to some redstone. I'm going to put down a comparator and a chest. So this is the display circuit. It will translate the number of items in the chest into half that number of lit up uh, lamps. 
The first uh, problem we have to tackle in this design is how to make the dropper fire twice. We need to remove two bottles at a time to decrement the score by one. If we power it directly, it only shoots out one uh, bottle. So we need to increase that. Two. Now the easiest way of doing that is simply to, to put a uh, redstone torch under it and then to power the dropper. Now droppers and repeaters have a special property that when they're powered they will fire whenever there's a redstone signal. Or a redstone update next to them. So, for example, this will fire when I put this down and when I take it off. It will also fire even if the uh, redstone isn't powered. Like, that's not being powered. Simply removing that redstone causes it to update. So now this will update every time this torch updates, or this will fire every time this torch updates. So when I step on it, it will fire, and then when I uh, when it releases, it will fire. You can see it there. So this is the design we're going to use for the scoreboard. Okay, so we're going to put a dropper behind the chest here and connect it with a hopper. Uh, how we're, how we're going to do this is we're going to fill up this with 20 potions and then we're going to fill this with 5 and this with 9 potions. And that way it will when this fires, it will drain out potions from the chest here, allowing us to easily regulate the number of potions in there. We're going to put two hoppers going up, leading into a double chest. And then in this spot here, we're going to put another hopper. Oop. This chest is going to be our uh, repository for water bottles in the system. Next we're going to make our firing mechanism to shoot out bottles. To do that we want to put in a block here and a torch. Next we want a line of redstone leading to another torch. Then we want to go down one block into a trench that will run under where you want your uh, pressure plates to be. So, we also want to power this. We also want to power this, so we're going to use the block update trick with these two as well. So, in order to do that, we need to power all three so it's just easier putting one lever on the center one here. See we also want to put a block there and a piece of redstone there. So let's test this out. I filled these with uh, water bottles. You can see we have our 
line of lamps fully lit. I'm going to disable the stopper so that we don't have, so we can see um, the progression of potions. Do we have anything in the large chest? Can we jump on this? That should take two from this and put it in here for us. Next we want to create a uh, reset button, or in this case a lever. So we have our large chest. Uh, is going to keep all our potions for us. So really all we need to do is disable this uh, hopper. Which you can do by applying a redstone signal to it. So you want to pick out where you want your, your uh, lever to be. I'm going to put it over here. And hook it up. Now this uh, hopper should be disabled, which it is. Very good. And that is pretty much good to go there. Let's test it out. Now this is pretty good. It does get messed up if people walk over the pressure plates rapidly. Sometimes it will distribute three water bottles instead of two. Um, also, of course, two people walk over a pressure plate before they can be reset, then it will only trigger once instead of twice. But let's see, now we have all 10, all 20 water bottles in here. So we can... And what I like about this design is it is silent. Refilling. Uh, in early, my early design there, I used the clock, which uh, over here to reset these and not a good idea. It's too loud. It's too loud. I'm going to finish up today by showing how to uh, have a victory or loss condition here. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did over here, except I can use lava because I didn't use wool or wood in the design. I just set up the pistons and everything so we can skip all that. So we want to put a repeater here, going to a block. I'm going to make a torch tower up. This. Now, depending on whether you want your things to be off or on, you either put a torch here or a uh, redstone dust here. And then you can hook up your up whatever you want to uh, your output here. And now this will remain closed until we uh, run out. So 
So we can test the system. Please open up and lava. I like this system because you can reset it from any position. It's pretty straightforward. There's few moving parts. If this somehow gets screwed up, you can run over it a couple of, run over the uh, pressure plates a couple of times to reset it, since all of these will shoot every time. So that does it for me today. Um, as you can see, making a scoreboard or any other type of uh, visual display, be it uh, the number of diamonds you have or something, is fairly straightforward with hoppers, dispensers, and uh, operators. So, I hope this has inspired you to build a display of your own in your own survival world or server. Until next time, uh, have a good day.